Now we're introducing Billy Marcia Fava. Real quick, can I be honest, guys? I'm not really, I'm not really fucking with this room we got here. It's kind oh, of uh, yeah. yeah, we've used it a lot here. We actually have a different one. Oh, oh yeah, it was the alternate room. I forgot about this. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. all right, yeah, 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 yeah. Just come over here. Hey. Oh, this is more like it, boys. All right. all right, hello, Billy. How are you, dude? Man. I am great. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, Wilder. How are you? I'm doing awesome. I'm glad everyone's doing great. Awesome. Okay, so Billy, the first time I heard your uh, one of your songs uh, yeah. was actually in an Anthpo video. I don't know if you know who that is. I, I do my yes, dude, that, that's a good friend of mine. I've never met him in person, but Anthpo. Yes. Shout out Anthpo. Yeah, so I was watching this video. I heard Cheesecake. Um, After that, I checked you out. I streamed Cheesecake a, a couple hundred times. I like forgot all about you, and one day in my Instagram feed, uh, <laughs> there was like this Savage Realm thing, and it was Disco type beat oh. and i checked you yeah. out again i was like this is the same guy that made cheesecake and then i i literally streamed all of your songs after that the first time i heard one of your songs billy is no i was not i was not a fan prior but i did i the first time i heard you was live in concert opening for baby no money you had all your buddies you on told me about this before just before we started recording right before we started recording <laughs> i remember when you performed there was you performed a bunch but i remember hearing yikes and like really liking it and ever since i remember hearing hearing yikes and like in the concert i pulled up your spotify do you remember my um my intro like what my intro was i don't i remember everyone made you take your shirt off that was concert everyone was yelling at you to take your shirt off and you took it off that like became a staple of my like live performances <laughs> you just take the shirt off Dude, yeah it feels that was so great. good like when you're sweating you just like take your shirt off but like after like the first couple dates like i would just like do it preemptively like after the like, <laughs> third song i'm just like i gotta take my uh, dude, it's fucking hot yeah we'll get into the we'll get into the concert stuff later um so you actually you actually reached out to me uh which yes. was you wanted to do an interview which was super surprising i was hanging out with yeah. wilder and you messaged me on twitter and i was like oh shit Billy Marcia <laughs> Papa just messaged yeah. me. <laughs> your jaw dropped think, when you turned on your phone. I don't know if it was the MC Virgins interview or the Shock and Willie one I saw, or I think I was talking to jo uh, Josh about it or something. I don't know what happened, but essentially, like, I was like, wait, so I haven't done any, so like literally this, <laughs> this is kind of like my first interview, which is like, I think hilarious that it's like a Minecraft interview. Yeah. But <laughs> Like that's like pretty fitting. So, uh -huh. but yeah, I saw some video about it. I think I even saw it like on my recommended and I was like, oh dude, I could totally do this. Yeah. But this, this is technically like my first interview. I've done like text interviews, but like, I guess this is like one step. Text oh, like, okay. I was like, just like, 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 um, like blogs and shit. Just yeah. like, you know, we just write in shit but this is like a little more on the spot on the nose. We might ask you any question in the world. What's two plus two, Billy? Eight. Oh shit. How did okay. you know? What made you make? Fuck. What'd you, fuck. What made you want to make music? Um, I just wanted to get rich. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, get rich quick. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, well, truthfully, I was, before I was making music, I was like running meme pages and stuff. Uh -huh. So that's what I was doing before I was making music. And I was like, you know what? This is cool. Uh, and like, I can make a little bit of money and whatnot, but like, cause I was like posting other people's content, you know? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I was, like, I was like, man, I want to like do something that's my own and like before that i kind of did like funny skits on youtube but like it just never took off it was just like little things you know like stupid videos and shit. and like i would always like mess around and make music with my friends just like never would ever ever upload it to the internet mm -hmm. and then like literally after that i was like you know what i'm just gonna upload a, like, just literally one song and see what happens and it was mixed so poorly like i literally downloaded like some like dusty ass mp3 off of youtube like just stole that shit right from youtube and then like just recorded right on top of it rendered it out and posted it to soundcloud and that was like how i thought you made music when I started. Well, what song was that? Is it like still out? Yeah, it's um, it's called Bikini Bottom. Uh huh. Okay. It's just it's like a SpongeBob sample. Yeah, that was my first ever song, and like that was before I even went on um like Spotify or anything like that. It was literally just SoundCloud, and like the way that it made sense in my brain is like I would I literally just posted it, and I was like, oh like you know this is me screwing around. So basically that was me saying like oh if this flops and no one cares like I don't care either. <laughs> you know I kind of carried that like mentality of like oh my music's trash. Like, like that's like been my shtick since I started because like truthfully when I started I was like this shit sucks and I don't <laughs> really give a f if it blows up or not yeah. and it happened to blow up but like that was kind of like my safe guard to be like oh if it gets like two views then I could just delete it and be like yeah we're just kidding speaking of which since like you said you all you like ran a meme page and yes. made video stuff like that were you a viner oh man it's freezing you got a little snow on your face dude yeah yeah 
Right. Yeah, let's just say that. Um, yes. And I don't talk about it a lot, but I did make vines, yeah. Okay, I did. because, see, literally yesterday, I searched up Billy Martia Fava. I went into videos, and there were just vines of you. And I was like, was Billy a viner? I gotta, I what gotta is, ask him this. What, is there still vine videos, like, out there? There's just, like, there's, so. there's a couple on YouTube. It's, like, you, like, doing coke. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's, like, okay, that was, that was Cocaine Carl. That was, a, a like, a character that I did. Yeah, that seems to be, like, the only videos out, like, on YouTube now of that, but. Did you yeah. have fun with Vine? Uh, yeah, it was fun. It, like, it was completely free. Like, I never made money doing it. So, like, I never got to the point where I could, like, make it a job. What was it doing good for you? Did you, like, get any recognition from that? Um, yeah, I got, I had, like, I think I hit, like, four or 500k. And, On like, Vine? Yeah, but, like, that was the oh, thing. Wow. Is, like, at that point, like, it's kind of like TikTok. Where, like, 400,000 followers on Vine is, like, wasn't that much because it was, there were so many people using it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's like TikTok. It's like, yeah. you have 10 million followers on TikTok and still be, like, relatively, like, not super popping. Yeah, because 10 million but, followers on TikTok is like equivalent to 100k on YouTube. Right? Exactly. That's like, that's the same type of way it was on uh, Vine. It was like, I had like 500k, but I might as well have just had 10k or some shit on YouTube. Like yeah. it was, but yeah, I did have fun doing that. I think that was, it was lit. <laughs> Going back to, we were talking about your early music. When you were, when you're just starting out, did you have any like name changes? Were you, were you swooping it, swatch, switch, swatching it around? No. So like the only, the only interesting thing that happened with me is that I like thought for a long long time about like a name like that was something that was like i was really 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 like trying to nail with vine and youtube or whatever i was doing like i always just went by my name but like i felt like with rap i had to do something different so like i would think like you know if i did like little billy like would that be cringe <laughs> right and like the answer is yes. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then I was like, man, should I go by like Kid Cuisine or like I don't know, like Young I couldn't. Cheese. Be, Young like, cheese. I, honestly, like I when I released my first song, it was Billy, and then it's just been that. I actually wanted to at first change my name to like something completely different, and then like never show my face and just kind of mm -hmm. like just be this like random figure in the world. Some entity, yeah. Yeah, but I was like, no, I'm just Billy. Most people think it's a stage name, actually. Well, yeah, because I can't, I can't figure out how to pronounce your first name. Thank like you. I know, I know your last name is Marcia Fabo, but I can't figure out how to say your oh, first name. It's pronounced Bylae. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Bylae. By Can you do it one more time for me? Bye, lie. <laughs> do you have any big projects coming up? So honestly, projects, nothing in the works, but I do have singles coming out. I got stuff coming out with MC Versions. Oh, um, great. Yeah, I got stuff coming out with Shock and Willie. We're going to get that cracking soon. Uh -huh. Um, And I have, I'm talking to Lil Darky. Oh, oh. Lil fucking Darky. Okay. Lil Darky, like actually? Yeah. He, and funny thing is, is he hit me up on the DMs, man, and was like, yo, I low-key want to make a song. And I was like, dude, I low-key really music all the time. Time, so. that's, awesome. that's insane that's, that's insane we'll see i don't know how it's gonna sound because we have different sounds but i think it could actually mesh really nice but yeah man i mean i, will tell on that. I can't wait for I that. that that sounds amazing <laughs> that's actually super cool yeah let's see i got some more stuff with young bay i want to work with baby no money more um man i don't know just so much stuff so much stuff this year but i'm trying to like instead of doing projects i'm trying to just like release like singles run the singles yeah yeah but maybe something at the end of the year or okay mid, mid year i don't know we'll have to see is boys. this the year of billy is this, is this the yeah the billy year yeah this is the biley oh yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah sorry. billy i've been listening to your music for a while i've been examining it billy you mentioned that you have six bad broads and multiple. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Specifically like, six. Two, Twelve cars. Yeah. Six bad broads. I got six bad broads and they love my wealth. I got six bad broads. Try to smash for clout. Four, five, got six. New Is it true that you have six bad broads? Absolutely. Could we get some names and some like some pictures? Like, could could we? That's kind of personal information. I know it's. Yeah. I know it's like it's a breach of privacy. It was just like, can we get like a name of one of your six bad broads? I'm not gonna tell you that because okay, they're totally right. real. They're totally real. But listen, you just made me realize that maybe I need to, uh, you know, expand my vocabulary. Try to write. Billy. Write more lyrics. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. I never even realized that. I mean, honestly, like it does take me like 10 to 20 minutes to write a song. Like unless I like really, really sit down and like try. But like it's so easy to make my music because my, my shit is so awful. That it's just so easy to make. 
but like man Billy, I'm gonna you made me feel like I'm actually I'm gonna win. No, no 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 come back come back <laughs> just broke the door <laughs> I understood what you said for the most part I mean you glitched out at one point but yeah I, I get the gist I glitched out I'm gonna make an album called six bad broads and yeah and it's sick no it's, it's six, six six song album six bad yeah, yeah. there's uh, Jessica there's Megan there's like Caitlin there's Sophia like, I don't know man I'm I'm not the greatest writer I want to make a song about like uncrustables because that's like really you're eating an uncrustable right before the interview started oh, that's true yeah. Oh, there it is. All I really eat is like Lunchables and Uncrustables. You only eat Ubbles. Are there other Ubbles to eat or are those I, I can't I can't think of any. You could eat edibles. Oh yeah, you can so so you got what's your favorite song that you've dropped? Oh man. Okay. So I love Ball So Hard. That's one of my favorite songs. This is a good song. Um I also love Disco Type B. I love Bad Boy, even though like I'm on like the ass end of the song. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I like your part most in that song because a lot of people say that, and I think it's because of the fact that it changes up so drastically. Yeah. And like all of a sudden it's like a little more trap, and uh -huh. like I'm just kind of like vibing out. But I don't know. I like Bad Boy a lot. Um, man, yeah. I have to pick one. I'm gonna just go with Disco Type Beat for now. Hey, that's, my favorite. that's wild. One. That's Wilder's favorite. Let's go. No, my favorite. Yikes! <laughs> Shut up. Can we ask about tour now? I want to talk about tour. Yeah, go ahead. Talk about tour. How okay. many times have you gone on tour, Billy? or by Lee. Shit, man, it's been like three three times so far, man. Shit. Three times? Three times? Three Who times. was you with on those three times? Um, Young Gravy, Baby No Dollar Sign, and yeah. then Young Bay. Hey. Young Bay was so, three consecutive tours uh, in the row. See, so I saw you. I saw you open up for the Baby No Money concert in Dallas. Yeah. Did yeah. you? Did you have? Do you have any some special tour stories? Some favorite spots that you performed um, in? I had. Okay, so Dallas was our first show. I think it was. Um, it was like it was right at the beginning of the tour. Okay, yeah. So I remember that one. That venue, man. I'm not gonna lie. I had a great time playing. Oh man, the uh, what do you call it? The green rooms were like outside. So like there was that back door. Yeah. And when you go behind that back door. It was like the little green room area. But okay. the green room was like the there was the windows had no like covers on them, so it was just like open to the air. Okay. And when you like perform, like you get really hot and sweaty, and you want to go into the green room to like cool oh, off. It was Texas like Texas at like. It, in yeah, May or whatever. It was like so hot that I had to literally like walk to the bar on the other side, connected, <laughs> and like sit by the bar and just like. And this lady came came up to me and was like, "Do you want something to drink?" I was like, "No, I'm just like cooling off right now because I'm <laughs> dying." So besides the insane heat, like I don't know how you guys handle that shit in, the, in the summer. Like that was like I had to drink like ten water bottles. My head started hurting. Like it was it was rough. You, but like the show, had a, the show yeah. was fun. Right when before Baby No Money came out. They yeah. put his whole track list on the floor and uh -huh. like taped it and yep. it was backwards so he could read it. And we took a picture of it and flipped it. And so we knew the entire track list and we would go like perform. And then like the song he was already about to perform, <laughs> and we would all like shout it at him and then it would just play. And at the point, it was to the point where he was just playing the songs we were shouting out and it was great. Yeah, okay. The very top one on the piece of paper was play Halo intro for 44 seconds. I, I came out to um the, uh, the pacer test intro. Pacer. Yeah, you did. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, hello guys, this is Vepsi. I'm sorry, but my camera has died. But it's okay. You can look at Billy's face. Yeah, put a PNG of Billy's face on the left. Clark Street Collective. You've been coming out with music videos left and right. Yes, sir. I was waiting for someone to ask me about these. I just want to say if Jimmy, Mitch, or Noah from Clark Street are listening right now, I love y'all. You guys are my family at this point. And if anyone is watching that is in the Chicagoland area or anywhere in the world that needs professional videos that look like movies, hit up Clark Street. Just call our Clark Street. Ad right there. Clarkstreet.com. Or no, I think it's Clark.street. I don't know. The reason why we were able to like come out which left and right was because we were filming on a schedule of like three videos uh every time we filmed and we would do it like each uh weekend so we were just like knocking them out one by one uh like literally just three days in a row so yes we have some more videos planned um i have this like 80s love song that i made it's pretty smooth i'll show you guys after the stream it's it's pretty fire. so expect a lot of music videos in 2021 did you guys see the video for verified i did yeah yeah shout out um andy he's a <laughs> That was the clout fairy. Yeah, dude. Andy, man. He's Shout awesome. Out Andy. He actually he um sells like vintage um posters. Uh -huh. That's his like job. He like actually works in the same building as Clark Street. And I was like, man, I need a clout fairy, but like I don't want to go stereotypical, like get a like some girl to do it. Like it's gotta be like a 50 year old man. Yeah. Or, like a middle aged man, you know? So they asked Andy and he was like, dude, yeah, I'm down. I'm down. So shout out Andy. <laughs> what That's actually man. what happens when you get verified. A clout a 46 year old man comes down and 
Whoa, what's going on behind me? I didn't even... Okay, well, since since we're talking about music videos, and we yeah. just asked in our last interview, we asked Willie about how the Blackout music video was. Yeah. How, did you enjoy the Blackout music video? Uh, yes, another a... banger. Another banger filmed by Clark Street. Uh, of course. Oh, really? Street, yeah. Well, do you have any cool stories from the, the Blackout video? Because, I mean, Willie told us some crazy shit. We didn't, we had a plan, obviously, for the, all the inside shots, because that was all scripted, and like, you know, we got the Airbnb and whatever, but like, for the outside shots, we really didn't know exactly what we were gonna do because like you can't really plan that stuff out so he really went all out and like there was one point in time where he literally ran in the middle of the street and like there was like police everywhere uh -huh. and like <laughs> vegas cops don't mess around they were like two seconds away from arresting him and that's why if you watch the video there's like a scene he runs in the street or he's in the street and then like you see like the cop like yelling at him and stuff like he was actually about to get arrested the penthouse we were in was like like three or four racks for like a day uh, yeah something insane expensive something so, like, yeah. yeah so it was really cool but i don't know i mean kapow like kind of got a little too up and <laughs> like spent like the whole day like kind of like hung over but like overall super fun experience like super super fun yeah, yeah. real quick i just want to say the internet says my net worth is anywhere between one to five million and that's such a lie i don't know who made that number up but it's not even close philly believe it or not yes i know who made your net worth one million dollars on the internet wait you know who did it I do know. It's in this Is very it one room. Of you two? What? I, what? What? What are you even talking about? We're gonna have to talk about Shum because that's incorrect, my friend. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. What are we even talking about? You made his net worth on Google one to five million or something. What's your net worth? No, wait, no, that's a rude question. Why? <laughs> I made like twenty bucks last year, bro. Woo! Shit! Did you actually make? Did you actually make my net no, worth? No, no, no. No, why? Did, why I have done that? That was just a bit. That was, was just like, a bit. Christian, is it time we talk about food? Really? I think it's time we talk about food. Oh, where are we going? Oh, all right. I'm drowning. <laughs> You're the first off, can we can we talk about Billy's little art piece? That oh yeah, yeah, yeah Joffrey yeah, yeah. Yo, smoking, smoking, smoking a food. gas pack. Check it out. A little booth right there. Billy, we always talk about food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm the great guy to talk about. I mean, yeah. I won't flex. I did lose like over 60 pounds, Woo! but I'm ready to I'm ready to gain it back, baby. What's your opinion on the four for four? Did you know it's the best deal in human history? It's a good deal. It's That's a great four deal. items for four dollars. I don't know if you guys remember back in the day. When McChickens were on the dollar menu, are they not? Are they not? I still a dollar. McChickens are like fucking four dollars, but I just wanted no, to they're, say they're they're one dollar here. Oh yeah, here they are still a dollar. Yeah, I was about to say uh, I can buy McChicken right now for one dollar. Four dollars. Oh. What the hell? Okay, well, where do you be in Chicago land? Shout out Portillo's hot dogs. Shout out Lumonati's. Shout out Giordano's. Damn, I can keep going, man. Chicago is is known for the the spicy, delicious food. Well, when it comes to like fast food grub, what are you? What are you? What you be? I love Chick Fil A. Um. I oh wait, know. wait before you. Even go any further yes we asked the chicken question. sandwich chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich like a yeah. number one chicken sandwich when it comes to the pickles yeah are they on or are they off? I, I, they're off let's go let's go yeah get those things out of there dude is great can you believe that shotgun um, willie gets extra pickles uh, that, is <laughs> that is insane i will say though josh he turned me on to like the popeye's chicken sandwich uh -huh. that's good one day like i don't know why but every time me and josh hang out we never talk about music or ever make music we just eat and like hang out nice. and man we we went to popeyes i got like the spicy chicken sandwich and then like the regular because it was the first time i ever had it and he turned me on man way on like he turned you on oh yeah dude. okay well i was gonna say this isn't in chicago or not just specific to chicago but i love chipotle i could eat that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I really like Jersey Mike's and I really like motherfucking Jimmy John's. Do you like Subway? Nah, that it shits on Subway, dude. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Subway's good, but like it's not authentic. Like it, it's not authentic, but I mean, you know what else isn't authentic? Panda Express, but that shit still hits. Am I right, Billy? Okay, Panda Express is really good. Um, <laughs> honestly, every time I eat Panda Express, I feel like a fat pig like oh, it makes my stomach God. hurt but like i also will put myself through the pain because of how good them orange chickens are also the fucking <laughs> what do you call it the um the crab rangoons Ooh. Mm. <laughs> i could take a bath in those man like, you have to draw that right now christian i'm saying this so you have to draw it now okay, you have to draw right. billy in a bathtub with fill a crab rangoon billy by any chance have you seen the shotgun willy video I'm about to go dream mode on these kids, bro. All right, you have to go for his head. You can't shoot him. <laughs> what? Woo! Ah! Woo! Okay, I got this. I got this, bro. Wait, what? Oh, oh! 
Gotta protect him with water! No! What the <laughs> fuck? Okay, he's coming down, he's coming down. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, shoot at him, shoot at him, shoot at him. Want to smoke, motherfucker? Yes! Oh, smoke get motherfucker. him, Billy! Oh, 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 run, 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 run! The purple shit, the purple shit hurts! The purple shit hurts, oh. you wanna- oh. He's going down this time. Yeah, Billy, you got him super low. Yeah, Billy, you got him so- You're almost killing him. How come you guys can fly? I wanna fly. We're just we're just riding on him because we pressed E. Yeah, we he pressed E. Down. He's he's on his way down. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling him to come down. We're, we're trying to tell him to come down right now. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Here he comes! Here he comes! Kick his ass! Kick his ass! That's it! Yeah! Oh, fucking talking about? I've been making moves. They don't like that big boss money. First I spend it, then I make it back. Ran to the bank, came back with a big bag. Diamonds on my necklace, shine. Get it plain tag. It appears that. Billy Marchia Fava defeated the Ender Dragon, but will baby no money and young babies? We're not in <laughs>